What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Apex Season 8. I'm going to leave you guys every single thing you need to know about the new season on May 4th as fast as I can. So if you guys need to go back, I'm going to just kind of be plowing through these as fast as possible. So again, try to keep up with me if you, if you will. So the newest Apex Legend to be brought to the area is going to be called Valkyrie. She's got an incredible loadout so far with her ability to be able to jetpack around, allowing her to get up on high ground, on low ground, wherever you need to be. You can't use any weapons, but as you fall, you guys can go for some trick shots if you do choose to do this. So her ability for her tactical yeah. ability is going to be basically a solid twin jet of just missiles that come down from the sky that will also disorientate your enemies just like an arc star normally would so it's quite a great way to you know either disrupt enemy lines or just do a full amount of carpet damage there last but not least is gonna be your ultimate ability that allows you and your teammates might i add your teammates can grab onto you and redeploy just like you would in the very beginning or finding a balloon across the ways so that allows you to do you know if you're one of those kill racers or if you're in a very bad spot you guys can go ahead and disengage and get out of that conflict very very quickly just avoid bullets you'll be fine last but not least the newest addition to apex season eight is going to be the bow tech bow this bow is insane i had a chance earlier today to play it during a play test had a great time this thing might be the scariest weapon i've ever played against but again it's a very high skill weapon so for all you trick shotters out there or players that are very high skilled this one's gonna be one the one for you it's got two additional hop-ups that can be attached the dead eyes tempo fire at the perfect moment increases fire rate which i'll explain in just a little bit as well as scatter caps you guys have seen this before on the 30 30 repeater but again it allows the arrow to kind of do a shotgun style effect so it's not as good as for long range but it will do quite a bit of damage close range so the Botech bow is going to do about 70 damage for the body shot and 123 for the top of the head now like we said before the scatter caps you're going to press b or whatever it is for controller players you're going to pull it back and it's going to be a shotgun style effect now guys we'll take a look real fast below my cross you're going to see this thing real fast okay there's going to be a yellow line, but above that is a blue one. So if you fire before that blue line goes away, that is going to be the other hub attachment allowing you to shoot very, very quickly. So if you're, you know, in a close range fight, you guys are able to actually pull off a lot of damage. It's pretty easy as it's relatively a low skill weapon when it comes to that style of combat. Now, I know you guys have all been waiting for this moment and is the arena style gameplay finally unveiled, bringing us on May 4th. Now, this mode is possibly one of the most fun things and a nice little twist on the battle royale that we've always seen from Apex Legends. Everyone who's always said, you know, this would be a great team deathmatch game. Well, here you go. They brought you on a silver platter with a cherry on top. It is just like the normal loadout to start off. You pick your characters. You, I would say you have to be very careful on this one because normally every character has their own abilities and their own, you know, strengths and weaknesses. This one really does shine on that. As you have to buy your abilities, those characters like you, you know, normally have like Octane or something like that, that you spam your abilities. This one, you actually have to buy your abilities. I'll show you that in just a second when we get into this gameplay. You start off in shambles. Essentially, you'll have 550 uh, crafting materials, which you will have to buy guns. So in the first round, each gun costs between, you know, 250 for a pistol, 500 for a shotgun, up to 550, you know, credits for a, you know, Spitfire. So be careful. The first round is going to be very, very difficult. I recommend going for a wingman. It's a solid one. It only costs about 500 credits. And now what's really cool, though, is one, your guns don't transfer over round to round. So you have to buy your guns each and every time. So there's no need to worry about saving credits or anything like that. You spend as much as you can because next round it will not matter, okay? One big thing that's really cool is you can actually earn credits every single round and you can earn extra ones. So just like in the game when you find crafting materials throughout the map, you guys can actually find crafting materials on the map, essentially. That'll give you extra credits for next round, able to buy attachments, heals, all that fun stuff. One thing I will say, guys, is you need to stick with your team as much as possible. A lot of the times I found myself kind of split up or we lose one person off in the beginning and that would absolutely destroy our squad in the long run. Also, Bloodhound is one of the strongest ones in this game mode just for the fact that he can see people through walls and, you know, kind of ping that for all of his uh, players as well as Valkyrie on this map, particularly not as much as others. There's, you know, definitely going to be metas for certain maps on certain legends. Meanwhile, some legends fell flat, just like Wraith. I did not see really many people uh, utilizing Wraith's abilities as it wasn't really the fan favorite going forward. But still, nonetheless, a great legend to use if you're great with her. I'm not saying she's not great, but for 3v3 deathmatch, it's definitely a little bit of a mix up than it was on the battle royale mode. One thing I will also, you know, kind of point out in a way, there is um, some, I didn't actually have a recording of this, but there's, you know, different, you know, loadouts or I should say, you can find heals on the map instead of having to buy them. There's little pods that you find throughout the way 
during the regular BR, and those have so much heal. So if you find yourself in a bad situation, if you open up one of the crates that you can normally find guns in, it'll have like two shield batteries, a Phoenix kit, and a med kit in just one. So if you're in the shambles, if you want to kind of save some money and go straight make a beeline for those, you know, pods, that is definitely the way to go. Again, guys, your abilities are having to be bought. So if you want to buy your ultimate ability, if you want to buy your tactical ability, you have to buy those. So characters like we said before, Octane or Bloodhound, you can only use it one time and you have to buy it each and every single round. What they want to point out real fast, guys, is on the bottom right, you can see my wingman is now level two. So I bought the base model and I upgraded it twice. So that's very, very nice. But again, it starts to add up as you go forward in the final rounds. You have upwards to 2,200 credits. So you can buy a full decked out Spitfire. You can buy two different guns. I would recommend also, you know, having at least one person on your team with a sniper rifle as it is very, very crucial to whittle down our teammates and take map control as much as possible. You never want to be the team that's hiding the spawn as, you know, safe as that may seem in the beginning. It definitely led to a lot of untimely deaths in the, you know, the beta gameplay that we were able to play. It was a lot of fun. I want to say thank you to Apex for letting us play this a little bit earlier, taking a, you know, a sneak peek, if you will, and allowing you guys to see uh, just what the new season's going to bring. So, you know, it's a nice change. A lot of these battle royals have been stale for quite a while, and the fact that they're really listening to the community, bringing something new to the table is a lot of fun. I was trying to get them to come over to me. I wanted to test something new of right, ultimate right ability. Away. We said in the beginning of the video how you guys can grab on, but we're going to show you guys just how powerful her ultimate ability really is. Not only do you redeploy, but it also marks enemies on your screen with your little <laughs> oh, HUD. So you guys sick, can see, especially dude. in this 3v3 mode, right, exactly where those enemies are, and you're able to do so much. And her verticality ability of the jetpack is insane for maps just like this one. And you can see this player's trying to get away from me, but I'm able to get up top right away with Pathfinder. Drop down all the solvos, sun around a little bit, and it just absolutely shredded their entire team. This might have been one of our best games out here. Like I said before, Wingman is a great, great pick. I miss all my shots here. It's kind of embarrassing. I'm still going to show you anyways. But again, this might be what saves Apex. I think it's a great job. They did a great job making something new. I want to know what your thoughts are down below, guys. If you guys think it's a great game, you think it's enough. If you don't think it's enough, what do you think Apex needs to do to change it and make it even better than it already is? But... If it's up to me, I think it did a great <laughs> job. Died. It's a lot of fun. It's a new, fresh take out there, and I think they're going to do great Whoa, going forward. Fly spot out here, man. I'll just like, oh, get out of here.